Welcome back to 10 Minute Radiology Case Reviews with Dr. Benjamin W. Strong. Welcome to the VRAD Trauma CT Lecture on Injury to the Small Bowel. This is your host, Dr. Benjamin Strong. We'll be viewing five cases of small bowel trauma, first with static CT images on which findings will be annotated with colored arrows and listed in matching colored text. That will be followed by a review of cine images with similar annotations. Our first case is small bowel with hypotension and underperfusion. This is obviously an extensive injury. Shotgun pellets are present throughout the axillary region. As an aside, there are intracardiac densities consistent with venous thromboembolism, a common finding in shotgun wounds to the axillary region, the subclavian vein, will transmit these pellets quite readily. That is not the real interest in this case, however. Uh, We are interested in the narrowing of the IVC, especially right there at the level of the renal veins. Uh, That is particularly indicative of a low volume state. In addition, note the hypodense thickening of the small bowel with contrasting prominent mucosal enhancement. That's indicative of small bowel hypoperfusion, again, consistent with a hypovolemic state. Here are those intracardiac densities, consistent with venous thromboembolism, that narrowed inferior vena cava, and look throughout the small bowel, hypodense, thickened, and with prominent enhancing mucosa. Here's a great example, caught in the right plane, You can see why many people refer to this as fishbone bowel. So that's a case of bullet embolism and resulting hypotension and small bowel hypoperfusion. Our next case is a duodenal contusion and laceration. See here there is a small focus of periduodenal gas. There is rather extensive retroperitoneal fluid that's in the anterior pararenal space consistent with an injury to the duodenum. You're lucky enough to see a linear lucency through the wall of the duodenum. Actually visualizing the laceration is a relatively uncommon thing. And here we're lucky as well in that we can visualize the contusion to the duodenal wall. You can see a rather abrupt transition where to the patient's right, the small bowel wall is hypodense, and to the patient's left, it is not. That's the extent of the contused duodenum. So here you see again periduodenal gas, a linear laceration, and contusion of the small bowel wall. And that is a case of a duodenal contusion and laceration. Our next case is a small bowel contusion. You can see this begins with a small focus of extraluminal gas as well with some mesenteric stranding. You can see there's a moderate segment of wall thickening which is hyperdense, which could represent a contused or hemorrhagic small bowel. And there is that small focus of extraluminal gas and here is that segment of hyperdense wall thickening. And that is a case of a small bowel perforation and hemorrhagic contusion. Our next case is a frank evisceration. You can see a small focus of extraluminal intraperitoneal gas. There is a defect in the anterior abdominal wall with soft tissue density extending out to the surface of the anterior abdominal wall. I show this case because it is... uh, Frankly, unbelievable so many times. When you see that soft tissue density on the anterior aspect of the abdominal wall, you think, is that a dressing? Could those really be bowel loops? And in fact, they are. You can see them again extending through that defect and lying on the anterior aspect of the abdominal wall. So that is an evisceration. That was an ATV wreck, and it was the ATV handlebars that created that abdominal wall defect. 
Now our next case is of a small bowel prolapse. First you'll see a small focus of perirectal air and that is immediately adjacent to a defect in the anterior wall of the rectum. That rounded density you see anteriorly is a loop of small bowel that is passing through the defect in the anterior rectal wall. That loop of small bowel ultimately passes through the rectum and out the anus to prolapse. So here's that perirectal air and the small bowel passing into the rectum and out the anus. So that is a rectal laceration with small bowel prolapse. The clinical history on this particular case would have made Hemingway jealous. It said simply rolled, ejected, crushed. So that concludes our lecture on small bowel injury. This is what you saw. Thanks for watching the VRED Trauma CT Lecture Series. This is Dr. Benjamin Strong, the host of 10-Minute Radiology Reviews. In the course of my career, I have worked as an internist, an emergency room physician, and an MR fellowship trained radiologist. I'm currently the Chief Medical Officer of Virtual Radiologic, or VRAD the nation's largest and leading teleradiology practice. With over 500 emergency teleradiologists and serving over 2,000 client facilities worldwide, we have access to an extraordinary amount of educational content which you see in these presentations. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to share, comment, subscribe, or for that matter, join the nation's leading teleradiology practice.